everybody this will be my review for doom now there will be no spoilers in this video now before i give you my review let's take a quick synopsis of the movie now paul atreides a brilliant and gifted young man born into a great destiny beyond his understanding must travel to the most dangerous planet in the universe to ensure the future of his family and his people as a malevolent force explore into conflict over the planet's exclusive supply of the most precious resource in existence only those who can conquer their own fear will survive now this movie mainly deals with the power of the spice. The spice are a drug that enhances your senses and your spirituality, and is also the key to space travel. You know, the best way to describe Doom is Star Wars meets Game of Thrones. Is a heavy sci-fi movie that deals with rel religions and political aspirations that I really I really enjoy seeing in this movie now I think Dune is Denise Villeneuve best film today he director arrival Blade Runner 2049 a personas he he directed in really great movies that I really enjoy, but I think this one is his best movie today. Now the the movie is not perfect, but it's so great. And that is because of Denise Villeneuve does a phenomenal job here. And also this movie has incredible performance from Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Zendaya. I mean, the whole cast does a phenomenal job here. Now, Doom, Doom conveys the story and the main players involved clearly and effectively. Now, that's great because of it makes the movie accessible for people who are familiar with the source material people who haven't read the book or watched the original Dune movie now I did some research before go before going and seeing this movie and it really helps a lot in terms of the understanding of the movie some things and I, th I will recommend it to to at least do a little bit of research and you're going to get I mean still you I think you're going to understand it, basically the, the story and everything but it really helps to have an extra knowledge of things going into this movie now the war of doom is amazing and that is because of the cinematography the score by Hans Zimmer the production design the custom design I mean it's, it's stunning and the visual effects are absolutely incredible I mean every frame of, of this movie is just so so incredible and, and amazing to look at I mean the film is beautiful to look at now I have one issue with the movie and the issue is that this is the first third of the story and it very much feels that way it feels like an incomplete story now is it's tough because they asking the audience to go and watch this movie and they're going to watch an incomplete story 
and the problem is that not much is that it's a neat complete story is that we may never know the the other part of the story because if the movie is not successful they're not going to make the second part and I really hope they, they do and I really hope this movie succeeds so we will wait and see but that was my only issue with, with this movie now I want to go to the cast some of the standouts now Timothy Chalamet is a true movie star here he really commands the screen he has a striking look he gives a charming and new one's performance here. Now, Rebecca Ferguson. I think this is Rebecca Ferguson's best role since Mission Impossible in The White Queen. And that's because she and Timothy Chalamet not only did a great job selling the bond of mother and son, but also the other connection as well now Zendaya is fantastic I mean she's so great in everything she's in her role here is very small but just a great fit with her with her and she makes her character feel very incredible grounded and to say time at a point is fierce I really like that about her, her character. Now, Javier Bardem makes a strong impression with the few scenes that he has. His screen time here is minimal, but he makes the most of it. And he's great. Now, Jason Momoa as Duncan Idaho is just perfect casting. I was surprised. To when I saw him in the movies, just he truly like he Momoa truly lights up the screen with the charisma in this role. And I also love what Josh Brolin brought to the table playing Gurney Halleck. He's a very important player in the treaties armed forces. Now. I want to talk about a little about the villains. I found the happiness, the setting, and and all of that. The Denise villain makes them feel very disturbing in this movie. And I really appreciate that. And most of them is because of the the produ the production design. And the the setting and also the performance and and the makeup the makeup is incredible in this film I mean the makeup on up in Stellum Skarska as the Baron is just whoa so good and also David the Smasher I mean Every time there the was a screen, they were very disturbing to look at. Now, overall, I love Doom. I love Doom because of the scope. The movie feels very epic. And although the story is incomplete, it, it just is a very strong first part for the story and also the uniqueness that the movie has the movie feels very unique and I appreciate that now I think this is one of the best movies of 2021 of this year and one of my favorite sci-fi movies of all time now I watch this movie in theaters and recommend to to you to go and watch this movie in theaters because that's the best way to watch this movie. Not only because the movie is very epic and it's a big sci-fi spectacle, but not only because of the visual effects, but 
because of the audio, the, the sound, it's just, those two combined, it's just the best feelings is in a movie theater. So that's my review of Doom. Let me know what do you think of the movie if you already watched the movie in the comments below. And if you like this video, consider uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.